Hey everybody and welcome to another one of my Razor Hydra videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at Borderlands 2, which is a pretty new game that just came out. And it is obviously the sequel to Borderlands 1. It's very much the same. A lot of the same stuff, same style, same type of gameplay, which is very good. Except they did improve upon a few things, like the random gun generation, which is way better this time. Now, once... Again, as usual, I have not really played much with the Hydra. You know that I like to do that. Kind of go in with a bit of a blank slate here. Uh, I am using the Borderlands 1 configuration. Oh, that's a turn in? Sure. So I just forced on in the Hydra beta software. I forced on Borderlands 1 configuration mouse look that way I wouldn't have to remake the controls because again it's basically the same game a lot of it is uh, identical so there's really no reason to reinvent the wheel Borderlands 1 configuration works just fine so how is the game first of all just by itself the game is fantastic I am loving the game. If you didn't like the first one, don't bother. It's extremely based off of that original concept. I mean, it was successful for them, so I guess they figured why why change a whole lot. Uh, the things they did change needed changed, like uh, that random gun generation didn't work quite as well as it was supposed to, as it was advertised. That is fixed. I am I am level what nineteen? Yeah, nineteen now. Ah, oh, that was that was smooth. Very nice demonstration of the Hydro man. Uh, wh wait wait a second. Um, the gun generation was advertised a lot in the original Borderlands, but it wasn't quite up to snuff. It wasn't quite what they were advertising. And now it is. I have not gotten the same gun twice. What am I looking for here? Ah, it must be down below. Is it? Yeah, it's down below. No, don't enter the gunner seat. Co-op is much more refined. If you remember, Borderlands 1 utilized Game Spy, which was absolutely atrocious as usual. Ah, you're kidding me. Oh, for God's sake. But now it utilizes Steamworks, so joining another person's game is literally a click of the button. I don't know if you noticed, but in the menu here, you can actually see right integrated into the menu is your lobby. So you can just click that and invite your friends. It's great. They made it much easier to join games. Hmm. Switched my objective there. It does have NVIDIA physics, but unfortunately, I am not able to play it without lagging like crazy. Really, really bad. Um, I am upgrading my GPUs shortly. But, for now, I can have all the graphics jacked except for physics, which I need to have basically off. God dang it, this is taking me way too long to do this. Oh, uh, man. How do I want to do this here? There's got to be some way I can drop down. Yeah. Here we go. I'm going to fall. I know I am. Ugh. Oh, man. That was amazing. So as you can see, I have a good amount of control as usual with the Hydra, Hydra games. It's definitely a good one. The only part I can see as being a bit tedious is navigating the menus. This menu. Uh, you'll definitely want to set your sensitivity up pretty high for that. But other than that, very uh, very tight controls, especially with that new dynamic filter that I talked about in my last video. Ah, so stupid. Hey, wait. 
Am I making this way harder than it has to be? That's very possible. You use your gesture left and right to switch your weapon, which is quite nice. I enjoy those gesture controls, as you guys know. But yeah, I've been having a blast with this game. I've dumped quite a bit of time into it already. Usually, usually I'm pretty slow with new games. I like to take my time. I like to pace myself. I don't like to just rush through and beat it right away. Sometimes I do, but usually I don't. I like to take my time. I am definitely going through pretty fast with this game, but at the same time, it's got a ton of content. A ton of content. I'm, I'm doing all the side missions and everything that I can do to get every last drop of game out of this game. I am doing. Oh, wow, look at that. There's stairs. Isn't that brilliant? Oh, for God's sake. So yeah, I'm pretty agile. Uh, there's not I don't feel like I'm I'm clunky or I don't really have enough control to do my best. What the heck? Why would they make you jump over there? God dang it. Really guys? Jerks, you know that? Uh, oh man. Uh. I'm going to die. Roland forcibly relocated me to sanctuary for what he claimed was my safety. But the slack jaws who populate this city make my flesh scream. A young woman said hello to me today. <laughs> I stared back at her, my mind screeching as I looked for a way to escape this unwanted interaction. As my face grew red with nauseous stress, a blood vessel popped in my nose and a jet of crimson shot out of my nostrils, splattering us both with blood. She screamed and ran away. As pleased as I was at the time, I fear causing fountains of blood to shoot from my face will not be a viable long-term strategy for avoiding conversation. Oh, man. The dialogue in this game is great. They, I mean, the first game was definitely funny, but they, uh... They definitely upped the comedy and the dialogue, especially with Claptrap. Oh my gosh. He has some moments in this game that are an absolute riot. It's pretty great. So, I mean, there's not really a whole lot to say about the game. It's got so much... You know, there, there's tons of reviews on it. It's a big title. There's a lot of coverage about it right now, so... I think I'm just going to focus on... Just playing the game. Showing you guys what to expect with the Hydra. It is a lot of fun, no doubt. I, I actually haven't played it at all, like I said, with the Hydra yet. Mostly because I was waiting for a profile, which I realized was stupid because I have Borderlands 1. The profile, that is, for Hydra. But, now that I have gotten around to playing it, you know, I'm not sure, how do I do that? Not that, not that. There we go. Wait, that's not how you melee, though. That's not it either! That's not it either, for the love of God! What a waste. That's my special ability, is gun zerking. I, I yield two weapons and I go crazy and you'll notice my health. Well, you won't notice my health. My health regenerates pretty quick and so does my ammo. So you, when you're gun zerking, you just go crazy. It's got like a 40 second, 45 second uh, cooldown time, which really isn't that bad when you think about the fact that you're essentially invincible with infinite ammo when you're doing it. As you level it up, that is. So yeah, I mean, not that you needed to hear it from me, but awesome game. Great with the Hydra. So if you have a Hydra, or you're thinking about getting one, you can add... Hello? Alright, get... Stop it! Ah! Knock it off! There's way too many of it. Oh. 
No, oh, for God's sake. See, this is what I was saying about being tedious through the menus. It is not fun to navigate through the menus. Oh, it's blocked. No wonder. But yeah, awesome with the Hydra. So if you're thinking about getting a Hydra, you already have a Hydra, put this on your list to play. I mean, it should be on your list anyway because it is an awesome, awesome game. But put it on your list of games to play with the Hydra. If only for a little bit. You know, it's it's a huge game. I can understand not wanting to play through the entire thing with the Hydra. Although I have completed a few games in their entirety with the Hydra before. I probably, I'll be honest, I probably won't play this one all the way through. Just because it's, it is tedious in certain under certain times in the game and but the controls are tight and you can't really ask for much more out of this game with the Hydra especially since it is indirect integration and it's not directly supportive of the Hydra technology as most games are you know Sixth Sense has been extremely quiet for a long time now we have no idea what's going on. They do have job openings right now, so if you're in the uh, if in the area of motion expertise, you can find that on the Sixth Sense website. God, my accuracy is horrible. Guys, just move around way too much. Seriously, there's too many of you. Go away. Thank you. Man. I think I should get my, uh, my car now. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Ouch! What now? Holy mother of God! What the? What? Where did he come from? Alright. No, don't go. Ah, oh, right when I freaking guns are. Oh, come on. Uh, holy crap! There's way too much health. Way too much health. Holy crap. Oh, he's almost dead. Alright, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. God. He's not doing much damage to me, though, so I guess that's good. Don't go down. Come back. Thank you. And now you're dead. That was unexpected. Oh, you can see. Oh, no, you can't. My thing isn't ready. Never mind. I was going to show you the ammo regen, but you probably noticed it already anyway. There it is. Don't drown. No, 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 no. No! Stop it! Pinning a disemboweled skag to my front door to dissuade others from approaching it. What does Jack want with the vault key? Was the key simply charging the entire time I possessed it before Jack crowbarred it from my bloody hands? Was it waiting to unleash its alien powers on Pandora to make Iridium appear from the very ground? Was it preparing itself to unlock even more alien ruins? I will delve deeper into this question after I soundproof the walls of my home, that I may be spared the incessant laughter and joviality of sanctuary citizens. <laughs> she is such a cheerful one. Alright guys, that about does it for me. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, feel free to check out some of my other Hydra videos to see some other examples of the Hydra in action. Borderlands 2, awesome game, great with the Hydra. I will see you guys next time a plummet really really fast you can see right there that purple point is gonna make his health
drop really fast, but not as fast as mine. Ah! Oh, man. Oh, God. Ouch, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. In Your head's going through a TV go next off, time. And he gets to play commando. There are people he wants to impress. <laughs> the EMPs. Where do I find them? Say please. Okay. Yeah, see, see, called it. Called it. I don't know. Head, TV, That's part through, of the plan. broken. See? 